Hey guys, it's me Liam from Board Busters, and today we are going to be continuing our disco ball dance floor, kind of. Uh, so, so this is going to be pretty fun. In this episode, we are actually going to be doing something that you might not expect. We uh, probably won't be doing scripting in this episode, but in the next episode, I promise you, we will be scripting. So, in this episode, we are going to be actually making barriers for the game. And you guys will see what I mean. So I'm just going to scoot this down because I don't necessarily like it being so big. Um, you know what? I don't want to spend too much time. Actually, uh, never mind. Okay, so we're going to go to our workspace. See the base plate right here? Control X. Delete that. And you'll see uh, everything's gone. So we're going to add a new part. And I'm going to make this black. Uh, we're going to add a new part. And let's make sure it is anchored. Make sure it's, this is anchored or else uh, your floor will fall through the sky and stuff will not end well. Um, but yeah, make sure it's anchored. And we're going to position this throughout our whole entire area that we want our disco floor to be on. So we're going to position out over here. I want to position this out just a bit more so we could have like a DJ station kind of. And y you guys you guys will see when, when we do that. Just like that. Okay, I'm going to actually make it a bit bigger. Okay, that's good. So let's control D, duplicate that. And let's bring it up here. Perfect. Yeah, that's okay. That's, that's fine. And we're going to control D, duplicate that, and we're going to rotate it. Make sure it snaps on. I recommend it. Um, but it just helps you with rotating. I like it to have move uh, five, rotate five degrees. So you could change that by going to model and rotate five degrees. I do just personally like that, like that but it is easier also i do i forgot to put this back on whoops so and now it will move 0 0.1 studs or sorry guys this is useful when you're making stuff like walls or stuff like that yeah um we go and we're just going to control d duplicate that put it on the other side it's another wall and you guys will see what we're going to be doing with all of this in just a sec so we're going to duplicate this again um actually yeah and we're going to rotate it horizontally or sorry vertically <laughs> make it just facing upward just like that and we can put this down just like that and we're going to control d duplicate that and yeah that's good so uh wait i don't want any cracks in mine so we're just going to rename uh we're just going to take all of these you know what? let's let's add a new let's add a new workspace or let's add a new folder and let's call it uh let's rename it to Walls. Oops. And we're gonna take all these parts, all of your wall parts, and we're gonna put them in the walls. There we go. Now we just have nice and cleaned up walls. And now if we play our game, as you can see, we join in and all these blocks change and it's pretty cool. So but there is one thing. Um our block doesn't really uh whoops our room doesn't really have the best um lighting now this is going to be pretty different so take one of your disco cubes duplicate it put this in the workspace this is going to be different duplicate it put it in like the middle or whatever wherever you want for the disco ball the main disco ball and we're gonna do we're gonna make it a just a white for now. 
and let's just put this uh, we're gonna add let me see light point light there we go and let's make its range like 15 nope let's do it uh 25 okay maybe that's good so let's see if that works in our game you know what actually sorry guys just real quick i'm gonna make it a bit bigger so it takes uh covers up our whole little area yep that's perfect all right so i'm gonna see if this works if not then we'll have other ways to arrange it and yeah yeah see how it makes it brighter now this is gonna be the fun part so we're gonna whoops you know what? i'm just gonna actually sorry guys make the brightness two okay uh maybe 1.5 that that yeah that's that seems good or sorry guys i'm just trying to figure it out where it um, yeah i like 1.5 personally um now we are going to go to our script this is a new script and we're gonna make this different so we're gonna do we're actually gonna probably delete all of this and we're gonna say <laughs> local disco uh, light or let's just say local light equals script dot parent and you guys learned that in the other one so we're gonna do local script dot parent or local light equals so we're gonna do wow true and I'll explain all of this and this will be a forever loop now we're gonna do light dot brick color equals random uh equals brick color whoops oh my gosh brick color dot new uh rand. wait oh my gosh you know what we could go back and forth sorry guys brick color dot random sorry about that guys Brick color dot random. So what this is gonna do is I'll explain it in just a sec. So should work. If not, then you'll see. Oh, Roblox Studio is so slow. <sighs> Here we go. Um, it's not changing colors. Script dot timeout exhausted allow ex execution time oh so we want to do <clears throat> let's create a function we're going to do light and we're going to take the light parameter put it right in there and we're going to do uh whoops and and we're going to just space this out in my opinion i think that's going to be better whoops or actually, let's just take all of this. We're gonna keep it, don't worry. Copy it. Put it right there. And let's do, um, let's do, um, wow, or no, script dot parent con connect whoops sorry script dot parent dot um hmm dot um what was it dot script up here dot man i forgot what this was hmm give me a second guys hmm okay 
So what I'm thinking of what we're gonna do here. We could just leave it a light for now. Let me give me one second actually. Um oh I think I know what we could do. Wait one second. Uh, yeah, one second's probably good. Uh, let's erase this function. Sorry, guys. Whoops. Let's just see if that works. Hopefully it does. And just trying to clean it up a bit. Um, <clears throat> we probably might work a bit more. Hmm. Oh yeah, it's working. There we go, guys. Yeah. Now it changes color. And if you guys want a quicker time, make sure to add that wait second. I'm going to make it wait 0 0.5. Oh, not 30. What? <laughs> 0 0.5. That might be a bit better. And there we go. Now we have our disco changing its color. And if you guys want it to look cooler, you guys can change the material in the property setting. And I'm going to put weight zero, weight zero point five. There we go. So I'm going to comment this. Um, oops. Uh, I'm going to say variable for, um, light slash disco and I'm going to do always run code so now that we have this I just commented it and so this is just the variable for our light and what this is is while true do me is basically a forever loop in scratch so while true do means while it is true do it so that means basically forever um basically forever it will run and this is a weight 0 0.5 so it doesn't like go crazy and it will like end up like breaking our game uh so just make sure to add that weight 0 0.5 and well the the light color or the light brick color will make it random forever. And yeah, it's pretty cool. Let's see, just real quick. I'm gonna, let's, oh yeah, I forgot. We need that point light. And we're gonna make the brightness. Let's let's make it um, 1.8. Okay, maybe that's better. I might be able to do that better so guys i'm sorry just real quick i'm gonna take the walls maybe resize it just a bit more and yeah everything's still still good might need to move this up but yeah there we go now we'll have room for a bunch of other stuff in our game. So, I hope you liked that video. In this video, we just learned pretty much how to, um, oh, I'm going to rename this, sorry. Well, in this video, we pretty much just, um, learned how to, um, make a light and make it go on forever and change color. So, now if we play our game... It's pretty much going to be the same. Uh, if we play our game, we're gonna we're gonna go and it just changed the lights. And yeah, so in the next episodes, we will actually be adding our own DJ booth, and we could play the music. And we're gonna be able to click on the music, and it will play some cool beats. And yeah, guys, please make sure to like and subscribe. I will see you guys later. I'm so excited for the new episodes. Uh, Sorry, my goal is to get 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. So please subscribe. And I have a website. And it talks about my channel and all sorts of stuff like that. All right, guys. See you guys later. Bye.